The Sahara is the biggest sandy desert on the planet, but have you ever wondered how much sand it actually holds? Welcome to Zulala. How many grains of sand are in the Sahara? Known as the Great Desert, the Sahara covers most of North Africa and at 9,400,000 square kilometers, it's almost as big as China. Find yourself stranded in the middle of this place and unless you're a camel, your chances of survival are slim. It's basically kilometre upon kilometre upon kilometre of dust, rock and sand. Counting all those grains of sand would be a fairly thankless task and, quite frankly, an impossible one. But using maths, we don't even need to go anywhere near the Sahara to work out a fairly accurate number. First of all, we need to work out how many grains of sand there are in a cubic centimetre. Now, this will depend on the type of sand you use, as grain size varies from beach to beach to desert to desert. But if we take an average, and trust me, producer Matt tested this, you can fit about 15 to 25 grains of sand along a centimetre. So let's take 20 as our average. Now, if we multiply 20 by 20 by 20 to give us our cube, this equates to 8,000 grains of sand per cubic centimetre. So, if we times that by 1 million to get our cubic metre, we end up with 8 billion grains of sand. And by now, we're close to working out how many grains of sand there might be in the Sahara. But only 20% of it is actually covered in sand. The rest is made up of rocky plateaus and gravel plains. But with ergs, fields of sand dunes covering up to 1,200 square kilometres of it, you'd be forgiven for thinking this desert is just endless sand. In total, the Sahara covers an area of 9,400,000 square kilometres. But if we take away the rocky and gravelly 7,520,000, we're left with what we might call classic desert. And that's around 1,880,000 square kilometres of barren sandiness. But how deep does that sand go down? Well, with sand and sand dunes constantly moving and shifting thanks to the wind, it's difficult to say how deep the sand is in the Sahara at any one time, but it's generally thought to be about 100 metres deep before you hit bedrock. So, if we times the area by the depth, we end up with 188 trillion cubic metres. Now, if we multiply that by our cubic metre of sand containing 8 billion grains of sand, and we end up with 1.504 septillion grains of sand. Yep, that's 21 noughts on the end. And astonishingly, that's 1 septillion, 503 sextillion, 999 quintillion, 999 quadrillion, 999 trillion, 700 billion more grains of sand than there are stars in our Milky Way. <laughs> and there you go, that's how we worked it out. But if you have any other ideas, have the time to go count a lot of grains of sand or are just up for the challenge, then let us know in the comments below. For more mind-blowing stats, subscribe to Earth Unplugged and we'll see you soon. Hi, I'm Maddie. Have you ever considered how much water is there inside a cloud? There are many types of cloud and each one is a different size. Hi, I'm Chris. Have you ever considered how animals find water in the desert? Here in the Mojave Desert in the western USA, researcher Dylan Tennant is studying the master of desert survival, the kangaroo rat. 